There we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the uh, bi-weekly contributor experience meeting. My name is Bob Killen. I am one of the co-chairs for the SIG. Um, let's see. See a couple other people on. Uh, just as a general reminder that we are under the Kubernetes Code of Conduct, which generally boils down to, you know, be awesome to each other. Don't don't do anything, you know. Don't do anything stupid. <laughs> um, with that, uh, we will go right in and start. Actually, let me let me drop the link to the notes in there, so people can start putting their name in the attendees list. Also, if anyone uh, wouldn't mind volunteering to be a note keeper, that would be awesome, or a note taker. Drive seems to be on it so far. Okay. So with that, let's sort of roll right into our uh, recurring stuff with events. Office hours, George. Plotting doesn't begin until uh, the 1st of March, so nothing to report. We had a really great uh, participation this time around, a little bit under February. Uh, I do want to do a shout out though, for those of you listening on the record, the entire afternoon West Coast session was entirely with new people. Um, so this, it actually pulled it off. We didn't e I didn't even notice they were all new until the very end. You know, we had kind of planned on having um, experienced people kind of mentoring new people, but these people, they just showed up and nailed it. So I. I thought it was a great success. So um, that and moving on community meeting that planning starts with Matt Bromberg on the first. He's going to be the host for uh, March first. Nothing really uh, new to report there. Okay. So don't think Jeff is on the line. So I will go ahead and give the update for the contributor summit. Um, we are very close to capacity. If you have not registered, please do so. We have like roughly 30 seats left. Um, the other thing is we're monitoring the current like, you know, COVID-19 issues event, world event that's going on right now. Um, right now we are still planning on hosting the Contributor Summit. We will pretty much be following the, the guidelines or whatever direction the CNCF is doing. The last little thing, and this is mostly a note uh, for future summits, at least for Boston. Um, we're thinking of the active contributor track, just removing the phased uh, sort of rollout of, you know, allowing org members and then having a window of time for non-org members to register that aren't sponsored or anything like that. And just going over to, you know, you have to be an org member or be a sponsored attendee. Um, it's been kind of frustrating uh, because actively contributing to the upstream Kubernetes project is apparently, I won't say difficult, but confusing people. So, and th there's been a fair amount of, of back and forth. Um, for the most part, like the majority of our attendance is org members anyway. It's usually like around 90% and everyone else um, is mostly involved with the SIG. So I don't think it'll be too big of a problem. It's just to help take care of some of the frustrating edge cases. Does anyone have any opinions on that? So question on registration. If we're volunteering, do we still need to register? Uh, you should register as staff. Got it. Thank you. Okay. Any other event stuff that hasn't been covered? Okay. Kick over to mentoring with Meet Our Contributors. I don't think Paris was on the line. Um, I think she's still looking for, you know, volunteers, just sort of the, the standard fair stuff. Um, and then is there any other mentoring updates? Uh, 
there is now a by a meeting that was decided upon. Um, I know that one. And I believe that's Fridays at uh, 10 PT. If you did not get an invite, please check out the Contribex calendar. Um, there's been multiple issues with calendar invites not going out. And if you've had a problem, please just like chime in the Contribex channel. That, uh, let's see, Ihor or Nikita, is there any other mentoring updates? Um, none from GSOC, at least. Okay. We are still, like, the call for project ideas is still open and we're getting a bunch of them in the CNCF repo. Okay. So move on to community management and the need to know emails. Actually, I should probably be sharing my screen, shouldn't I? Want me to just share mine? Okay, you're good. There we go. The only thing that I knew of to toss on the list was the last chance for Reg. Again, we only have like 30 seats left uh, for the Contributor Summit. Uh, anything from the APEC coordinator? Not really. We still plan to go forward with the blog post series per country slash region thing. Um, we plan to do it for India for Kubernetes forums, but couldn't get it in time because there was like just one week before the event when we decided to do this. Uh, we might do India and China together. Um, for the first series or something like that. Okay. Uh, we have a meeting tomorrow, uh, well, tomorrow for APAC folks. Um, so we will be discussing more there. Okay. Off to GitHub management. I don't think there's been too many new things. Christoph, Nikita, can you think of anything? We have a new meeting. Oh, that's true. That's right. We have our meeting tomorrow. Oh, I was double muted. Uh, yeah, that's the only thing worth mentioning is the meeting tomorrow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> muting. Do you know if uh, the one issue in K-Org has been taken care of with cleaning up the open invites? Uh, not completely. Okay. Still ongoing. Really no updates from Slack Infra. Contributor documentation. Really don't have any updates on the contributor guide. Um, on the developer guide, there's definitely a big help one. Uh, George? Oh, never mind. I'll get to it down there. Sorry, wrong section. Okay, okay. Um, if you have some domain knowledge and some of the areas in the developer guide, if you can just like check it over and take a look, there's a lot of outdated information still in there. Um, I'm not sure how to really approach asking people to at least look it over and update those those sections. Um, I'm probably going to bring it up on the next chair TL meeting. George? Uh, myself and Duffy are definitely volunteering to do, to, to redo the whole setting up your laptop for development thing. We okay. just haven't found the time to do it. Uh, he wants to do it as an episode of TGIK where we kind of, grab that page, shove it in a hack MD, and then we kind of have a bunch of people fix it. And then at the end of the episode, we like commit it. But um, there's also a long-term maintenance that like, we can't just have an episode and commit a bunch of stuff. Like we'd have to go back and fix it and things like that. So 
Um, yeah. But we definitely are very interested in doing it. It's just a matter of time. And it's very difficult to do a setup like that while streaming. So he's figuring out some technical issues there. But we're definitely interested in doing like, you know, setting up your laptop. Awesome for development yeah. section. Yeah. I have no commitment dates or anything like that. It's just on our radar. It, it, it's all good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, can somebody actually, <clears throat> if somebody, the other thing I would suggest is if somebody can actually break out specific section, you know, let's name sections that need review. I can probably do that. Name sections that need review and then share it out with KDEV and some of the other developer sources. Because we're saying, hey, you know, we need somebody to just review this one page. Um, we're a lot more likely to get somebody to do that when they're on a boring conference call or something. Yeah, than asking them to figure out what needs review. No, it's a, a good chunk of them. Like I can go through and index them a bit more. It's just, I know for some of them, they do need a bit more domain knowledge about some of the areas. Yeah. Um, a good example was most recently, like the, uh, the, the testing one had references to like, you know, the hack E2E instead of the, the cube test. Um, and then there were still a bunch of references to Vagrant which hasn't been, you know, yeah. supported in quite a while. Yeah. Actually, if we could open an issue for each section or page that we know needs review, that would be a good way to get people to sign off on it. Yeah. Well, open an issue and then call attention to the issues. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, and then we can throw it on KDEV and I'll throw it into LWKD. Um, you know, and, and, you know, a few other places and see if we can get people into it. Okay. That sounds like a good idea. Uh. Yeah, I think. That's yeah. Last time I wanted to do it. Uh, I got Bob, it. I think drama. Can you meet? Super uh, occupied. Uh, you know, and I was talking to Bob. So, but I think there. Oh, oh wait. Huh? Is, he, is that background noise or? Sorry, I'm confused now. There, there was background noise, but I think it's actually. Yeah, go ahead, talk. some drama. Your, your yeah. background oh, there, noise there is you as loud go. as okay. you are. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Let me just type. Okay. Um, I'll move on to the next section for now. Uh, I don't think there's any updates for the, the non-code guide. Um, quick update on the contributor site. Sort of the, it's getting to a point where things might be good. Um, some last few things is we need to migrate some domains over that Duffy had Kubernetes.dev and kids.dev uh, over to be managed by our group. Um, that's mostly on, on me. Uh, Vish is adding a section to the uh, event section and actually like making a contributor summit page. Um, so we'll have like a nice little thing for past events and future events and eventually this will probably be the case for like Boston. We will not use the Linux foundation pages. We will just have, you know, we'll be able to go to the contributor or contributor site and that will have all our event info. We will hundred percent control it. So when we have to make, you know, emergency changes or anything like that, we'll be able to do it. It's been a, a ask for quite some time. Uh, there's some other help wanted stuff there too. Um, so under the events page, there's like MOC and office hours and all that information is out of date at this point. Those are not in sync with the community repo because um, they have like YouTube embeds and things like that in there. The other uh, like two big things, uh, if people wanna like take a stab at this is migrate the, the layout itself to Doxy. Um,
Google built this like awesome Hugo template for documentation. Oh, that's uh, beautiful. That it's like super easy to use. Yeah, it's very nice. Um, and I think Cube. So Minikube even uses it for their site. So we could we could you know do something like this for the contributor site. Nice. Uh, for the MLC office hours afterwards, let me know because I I thought when I made my pushes to the community site that would just work. So yeah, can... it's because we we did the whole like you wanted the YouTube like right stuff at the top, and once once we do once it becomes like you use short codes in uh, like in the Hugo site in the contributor site it will permanently be out of sync with uh, the community repo. I did not know that. Okay. Um, we can put them in the community repo, but that will also mean that there'll be like YouTube embed codes in there, which if you go yeah. to, if you go to it directly, it's not going to be the most presentable thing. Yeah. So, okay. So I think we might want to cut out the embeds for now. Right. Okay. So we can at least sync. And that, I went that, through that and updated those pages and I, you know what, I should have checked the preview to see if that would have actually landed on the contributor site. I just assumed okay. it would. Good. Okay. I'll, I'll sync so, with you after. Okay. Hmm. Okay. The last thing, um, and this is a more long-term thing. We wanted to put the, all the like, SIG readmes and things like that hosted in there. Um, but we need to add some stuff to the Golang template for like add some of the, the metadata headers that would be useful. Um, it shouldn't, you know, change the the view that you see in GitHub outside of having that little tiny like box at the top. Any other questions or things people want to talk about contributor documentation? Okay. Before I jump over to the project board, I'll go over and talk about some of the, the open mics uh, items. Um, first, are there any new contributors on the line that would like to introduce themselves? We kind of punt this towards the, the later section just to make sure we can get through some things. It's good to see you back, Red. Yep. <laughs> Finally, yeah. Okay. Thank uh, you. Uh, George, I think you have the the next item: the KubeCon Cloud Native Cont Cont Contingency Plan. Yeah. So I, I, you know, I didn't want to like panic everybody or anything, but you know, as I say, news you know, about possibilities of canceling stuff. Just want to let, just kind of maybe brainstorm if this were to happen for some reason. Some people can't go to Amsterdam or whatever. Um, I think we could probably pull off like a day's worth of content if, if something like this were to happen. Maybe asking people who signed up for Contributor Summit presentations. You know, I was thinking we could schedule like five of them in YouTube right? Uh, Chris would take some, I would take some so that we could do them back to back uh, time wise on the channel. And then maybe we could, if, if it comes down to that, I just wanted to say, you know, I've been doing a little preparation. We could possibly pull off, you know, a day's worth of content, streaming people's presentations and things like that, if, if possible. I know. I also, I also know how to... I, want, I want to play. <laughs> Yeah, I know how to also rebroadcast that as if it's live for people that missed it. So uh, that's a possibility. I can rebroadcast it too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, we'll stream it, put it on YouTube, rebroadcast it all you want. So the, the hopefully it doesn't happen, but yeah, like, yeah, I, I feel like we can pull something off. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Kim said it's still on. So. Trust, yeah, no, I talked to her this morning. Kim's the voice yeah, of God. I, so. yeah, I, I'm fully expecting it to be on, but like, I just yeah, like I want it to be on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, and like, we need to be prepared. Right? It's kind of our job to be prepared. So yeah. mm -hmm. it, it's better to think yeah. about it. Yeah, 
Yeah. Then not, yeah. Then not, yeah. No. Twitch plays Kubernetes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, give me your ideas. We've had, like, uh, when I was talking to Lockheed, we've thought about doing, like, a 24-hour, at some point, doing, like, a 24-hour Around the globe. marathon kind of yeah. charity yeah, drive. Cool. And stuff. There's all sorts of cool stuff we so, can do. Lockheed's actually planning that for the uh, CNCF ambassadors. Yeah, oh, he's awesome. doing the ambassador drive thing. Sweet. Um, I George applied Rick- to become an ambassador a while back, and I never heard back. I don't know how long that takes. We can figure that out. Yeah. Um, well, how long would you say, George, is, equals a day? Six, eight hours, or are you talking like 24? Well, I was looking at the Contributor Summit. Mm. Uh, you know, the people who submitted right. talks. You know, if all we were to do is like Record them stream their, rep- their presentations and just say, you know, here they are. Just schedule them in YouTube ahead of time so people can listen live. Uh, we could probably bust it out if, if that's a thing. Um, yeah. I don't think it will be worth trying to do something like... Uh, so we did this in Ubuntu in the past when we switched over to a virtual format is we would actually try to run the sessions that we would at a real conference via Zoom, like actual workshops and stuff. But that seems... That seems a bridge too far for me. I think just, you know, if, if we had planned talks that people were already writing anyway, who am I kidding? They haven't written their slides yet, but. Well, um, you yeah, know. but like having a workshop remotely is challenging. Yeah, you know, if yeah, that's what but you're we trying to say, say, you know yeah. what, here's the pre-made content that people were just gonna sit through anyway, just on YouTube. I, yeah, that seems yeah. pretty doable I mean, and generally a lot easier than trying to schedule, you know. A virtual summit, I think, would be, yeah, ouchy. Yeah, and expensive. Yeah, but hopefully it won't come to that. I'm just saying we, we could be ready to do that if possible. That's all I want to say. I don't want to take up everyone's time. No, I, I think we all agree that like trying to do something will be good. Mm-hmm. For now, we still go ahead with our plan of you know, the computer summit's happening. Mm-hmm. There's no escape. Yeah. The next time I just want to bring to people's attention. Um, there is a issue triage kep regarding a lot of the, like this is some of the labels that are being applied and things like that. Um, and this is sort of the culmination of lots of other discussions and open issues. Um, and it's just sort of, I, I realistically don't think it'll happen for, for 119. Um, just because there needs to be more communication and, and and get like a game plan, like and everything very spelled out, locked in beforehand. Uh, but if you are interested in issue triage and how sort of like how things might be changing, please take a look at this cap. Okay. Now with that. Uh, I can kick over to the board if people want to walk the board or there is there any other open discussion items that people want to go through? Okay. Walking the board is also kind of like, as I've been going through a lot of this, we at uh, Contribix have a lot of boards, I think like five total, let's see. Yep, five five boards total. Okay. Anyway. So we'll start with in progress. Deprecate Kubernetes incubator in favor of Kubernetes SIGs. Uh, this one we're pretty pretty close on. Um, it's just getting a few more people to respond. I think there's, we're down to four, four left. Community. Yep. Okay. Ah, that one. Yeah. Um, I knocked out a few of these earlier today or not today, yesterday. I th- think we did good as long as you removed the 2019 from it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if there's a couple uh, left open items in here that mm-hmm. if anyone wants to take on, 
um, like just making sure that the like links in SIGS.YAML are still valid. Um, that'd be very helpful. It, it shouldn't take like individually, they shouldn't take too long. It's just sort of going through and, and knocking them out. Uh, was there any that you remember off the top of your head that like you couldn't do George or were like needed access to something or something like that? I, I think the biggest one, uh, I don't know if Josh is still on the line was the, uh, is the Slack uh, audit here? Yeah. yeah. So I actually opened up a PR to address some of the uh, issues in that, that big thread. And I know he had opened a, uh, a separate issue for Slack. Yeah. So if you want to take a look at this, like I mostly removed some of the stuff that we talked about in the Slack stuff. I agree. Um, and then put in notes regarding the dev stats now having repo group uh, dashboard so we can check the repo groups. And then there's another one that's just been automated away. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And I also looked into some of this, um, the, um, one of the problems that we have, so there were, there were actually two questions. One was about, um, removing unused channels. Um, and the second was, you know, looking at potentially auditing unused old accounts. That is people who registered, um, never posted anything. And that was two years ago. Mm -hmm. Um, the um, so I spent some time delving into the Slack analytics, and discovered in the process of that that Slack analytics are completely untrustworthy. I mean, down to the point that we might as well not look. Okay. Um, so, um, given yeah. the difficulty of those two things and the fact that Catherine um, was opposed to the idea of eliminating old channels anyway. Um, uh, my thought was that we were just going to eliminate that from the checklist. Yep. I um, didn't in the PR. Plus one. Plus okay. one. Yeah. yeah. And if you want, just uh, it's currently the top one in the PRs if you want to take a look. Okay. Uh, for, and I updated the, like the purpose pin documents and agendas thing to just be, essentially have it be optional, but like it, it should really just be for essentially the community groups. So SIGs, working groups, and like yeah. committees. Yeah. Um, by the time I got to the end of that, I then got buried in event prep. When I'm feeling less buried, do, um, I want to start up an effort to um, just catalog our channels. Um, because I think there actually are a lot of channels that could use a pinned um, explanation document and don't have one because nobody's gotten around to it. Mm -hmm. um, so... Um, and even if we're not purging channels that are idle, it would be at least useful to know what we have, uh, which currently we don't. Oh, we do have every, like the, the Slack channels um, in the Slack config in here. So we have, we at least have a list of all of them. Right. Yeah. Right. But it doesn't necessarily tell us what the channel is actually for. Yeah. Um, or, you know, whether or not the, um, um, whether or not it's maintained, whether or not it has an owner. Yeah, I feel a lot of the community, like the SIG ones in particular, probably wouldn't hurt during one of these uh, chair co-lead newsletters or whatever, be like, here are some tips on pinning your most important items in your channel. It's helped, you know, yeah. what does a good uh, topic headline look like, you know? Yeah. Like the, some of the ones that are really well maintained, they say, hey, ask here these questions. If you don't get a response, go here. You know, you go to the pin channels, they're like, read these before you ask questions kind of stuff. So there's probably a lot of uh, best practice. That's the word I'm looking for. That yeah. we just... So I guess, well, we can, we can discuss this in Slack admin because yeah. Yeah, one of my yeah, questions yeah. would be whether or not in the case where we have an admin who is not a member of the SIG, but knows all that information it would be okay to just go ahead and pin that. Uh -huh. And anyone can pin stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like that's not, not gated by Slack permissions. Um, George, do you want to toss a little blurb about that and the uh, I, need, need to know? I will. I will do so here. Okay. Yep. And you need a review for this PR. Oh, I see. I'm assigned. Okay, I'm on it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, both both you and Josh are assigned. Okay. Uh, 
this is adding the chair SMTL folder for that monthly session that's done um, and just adding more documentation. Um, this should be pretty much good to go. It was, I left some comments that just need to be like adding links and things like that. If you've hopped on any of those calls or want to take a look, uh, 4461 would be a good one to just take a look at quick. Uh, moderators MD needs to be updated. I think this is done. Yeah. This one just been, I think this is just Slack. Okay. Or. Yeah, this was a low hanging fruit. Yeah. Some of the drama just busted out. So, yeah. Can double check that one and, and comment on it. This one, I think, is actually Christoph. Still on, yep. But that's kind of low hanging, another sort of low hanging fruit one right now. Somebody else have the uh, URL for the uh, notes for chairs and tech leads handy? I will drop it in chat. I'm going to pin that actually to Contribex. Thank you. Okay. Dev stats, many new repos are included in dev stats. That one I've taken care of. Um, it's just pending on that one uh, PR review. And that's all in the community maintenance doc. As far as to do's that are currently planned, I think this is just syncing all the moderators that we've added to the moderators alias, which should uh, all be manageable in uh, keats.io in the groups. Okay, yep, just have to make sure that they're in the right group in Kates.io. That should be pretty quick. And then the survey retro, that one we've done. I think the Paris is just uh, waiting on the final stuff from the uh, neutral third party. that will hold off walking through the backlog and things like that uh, for now, unless people want to. Because we have, we have the issue triage meeting in like 25 minutes where we can go through more of that. So with that, is there anything else anyone wants to discuss today? Cool. I think we can uh, call it there then. Oh. Good seeing everyone again. I'll, I'll see you. Yep. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. Later.